Black Jungle 308, thank you for 20 Brazilian ray eyes. Given that I can limit throttle input on beta flight as an amateur that won't notice the 10% efficiency loss from doing that, is there any reason to not always buy the highest KV motor I can find for all cases? Black Jungle. Uh, so here is an argument that some people make. In fact, I think Aaron Ciotti does this. Ciotti's argument is that you should always buy a higher KV motor than you really need. For example, if you're running on 6S, buy 2100, 2300, 2400 KV, and then use a throttle or, or a motor output limit or a throttle limit to bring that down. You probably need to use a motor output limit if you're going with high KV motors. So run on 6S, run a 2300, 2400 KV motor, and then use a 66% motor output limit to bring it down to the correct RPM range for a five inch prop. But what Ciotti has said is that if you find yourself in a situation where you need just that little bit more punch, you've essentially got the ability to unleash the beast by turning the motor output limit up, you can get more power. That is 100% true. However, um, the downside is that in my opinion, running high KV motors makes it more likely that you're going to blow the ESC. Now, I'm going to tell you some uh, electrical stuff about why I think that's true. And I don't have evidence to back this up. So I want to be honest about that fact. The way that, the way that motors work is that you've got battery voltage running through the FETs the MOSFETs in the ESC and the MOSFETs switch the battery voltage on and off very, very quickly using uh, pulse width modulated signals. The voltage coming through the FETs is basically either full battery voltage or zero volts. And of course there is a, a small rising and trailing edge where it goes up and down, right? It, so there's a very short period of time where it is moving between those two values, but in general, it is full battery output or zero volts. Now, when you apply a motor output limit, the length of the full voltage pulses gets shorter. And the average voltage that is uh, ex that the motor sees goes down. And the fact that the motor has inductive characteristics means that the average voltage is, it's not just like a digital average, but in fact, the inductive characteristics of it mean that there's literally some reduction in the, in the voltage that's measured. But I still don't think it's the same as if you had a lower KV motor, okay? You're still exposing the motor to that high voltage and even though the average voltage is lower, like the peak voltage is higher, and it feels to me like these high KV motors are more likely to blow your ESC. That's what I would say. So I would say buy the correct KV for your application. It's not about efficiency. It's about just keeping your whole quad electrically sort of happy. <laughs> But you can do it. I just think tuning gets more complicated and the chances of frying the ESC goes up.